This is our 19th session of Mundaka Upanishad with Swamiji. We are now in section 2 of chapter 1, shloka number 10. I welcome everyone here. This morning session will be just for an hour instead of the usual hour and a half. Today, Mrs. Jyoti Menon will chant the first three of the 10 Dhyana shlokas from Viveka Chudamani. Jyoti. Pranam Swamiji. Namaste. Jati Niti Kula Gotra Duragam Nama Rupa Guna Dosha Vajitam Desha Kala Vishayadi Vartiya Brahma Tatvamasi Bhava Yatmani Yet Param Sakalavaga Gocharam Gocharam Vimala Bhoda Chakshusha Shuddha Chit Kanamana Divas Tuyat Brahma Tatvamasi Bhava Yatmani Shat Bhirur Mi Bhirav Yogi Yogi Hrit Bhavitam nakara nair vibhavitam buddhya vedya manavadya bhudhya brahma tattva masi bhava yatmani brahma tattva masi bhava yatmani brahma tattva masi bhava yatmani Om. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Om Sada Shiva Samaryam Bham Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asmadacharya Paryandam Vande Guru Paramparam Om Padram Karne Bhishranuyama Deva Padram Pashe Makshabhirya Jatra Stirai Rangai Stustovam Sastano Bhir Vyasema Deva Hitam Yadayu Sustena Yendro Vridhasrava Sustena Osha Vishwaveda Sustena Starkshio Arishta Neme Sustena Brehaspatir Dadhatu Om Shanti 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 oh. <coughs> Sure in this uh... Mundaka Upanishad studies. So far we have seen ten mantras in the second khanda of the first mundaka. There the tenth mantra is Ishta purtam manya mana varishtam Nanya treyo veda yante pramutha Nakasya prishthe te sukrutenu putwa 
imam lokam hina taram vavishanti ishta purtam manyamana varishtam nanya chreyo vedayante pramutha nakasya prishthe te sukrute nu bhutva imam lokam hina taram vavishanti ഇഷ്ടാപൂർത്ത മന്യമാനിഷ്ഠം അന്യത് ശ്രേയ വേദയന്തെ പ്രമൂഠാ നാക്കസ്യ പൃഷ്ഠേ തെ സുകൃതെ അനുഭൂത്വ ഇമം ലോകം ഹീനതരം വാ വിശന്തി സോ വി കാൻ ബ്രേക്ക് ദി വേർഡ്സ് ഇഷ്ടാപൂർത്തം ഇഷ്ടാപൂർത്ത മീൻസ് ഇഷ്ടശ്ച പൂർത്തം ച ഇഷ്ടം ആൻഡ് പൂർത്തം ഇഷ്ടം ആൻഡ് പൂർത്തം ദീസ് ആർ ടു ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് കർമ്മാസ് എൻജോയിൻഡ് ഇൻ അവർ ശാസ്ത്രസ് കർമ്മ മീൻസ് വാട്ട് ഓട്ട് ടു ബി ഡൺ യൂഷ്വലി Uh, in the language or in the literary sense and worldly sense the meaning of karma is some sort of activity whatever be the activity we will call it by the name karma for example kriya one who is one, one, one is walking or one is swimming one is reading writing all these are karmas actually these are kriyas but in the worldly usage always we use karma as to mean activities but in shastras especially in vedanta shastra the meaning of karma is what should be done or what ought to be done and what is prohibited is vikarma vikarma and uh, being without doing anything is akarma so what is enjoined by our shastras that is uh, the two fold shastras both shruti and smriti they are mainly ishta karmas and purta karmas ishta karmas and purta karmas so what are ishta karmas ishta karmas are those karmas which are prescribed by veda and wherein there is the involvement of fire agni so with the help of uh, uh, different mantras or specific mantras we will offer many things in uh, the agni for a different devatas because it is believed that which is offered in agni will be delivered to different devatas so karma involving or kriya involving such offerings in agni are called ishta karmas ishta daily agni hotra sar the and as per another division it comes in the nitya karma and of course kamya karma also are the many types of yagas for uh, 
getting different uh, benefits in this world and the world uh, above. So different types of uh, yagas are there and Agnihotras are there. All comes within this ishta. So we can, we can take it as uh, that karma which involves Agni is ishta karma. And see, the samskrita for clay bricks, it is ishtaka or ishtika. That which is made for ishta is ishtaka. Nowadays, we are using it to construct our houses. It's good. There is nothing wrong. But actually, that name came from this. That which is to be you, which is used to uh, perform, ishta is ishtaka or ishtika. So ishta karmas and uh, purta karmas are there. What are purta karmas? Purta karmas are uh, mainly explained in our smritis. So we can call them as Marthas. But Ishta also are there, which can be called as Marthas. For example, uh, the most famous Chandi Yagam. It is a Ishta Karma, but it is Martha. And the uh, most famous Vishnu Yagam. It is an Ishta Karma. But it is Martha, not Shrauda. It is not prescribed in Shruti. It is as per the prescriptions of Smritis. And in the same way, there are Purta Karmas which are prescribed by Shruti also. But generally, we can categorize them as Smartha because they are well explained in our Smritis. For example, making or constructing roads for public use or digging well, pond or lake for the public use or uh, constructing uh, what we can call inns or uh, places of uh, stay for the public use or making any type of public amenities, whatever it be, all these come within this Purta Karma. And the greatest Purta Karma is there, like uh, uh, planting trees. Planting trees, that's a Purta Karma. So generally all service activities are coming under this category, Purta Karma. We have to do, we must do Purta Karmas because it will purify our own mind and at the same time it will uh, serve the society also. Both aspects are there. The first thing is purifying our own mind and intellect. That is the first benefit and along with that the society is benefiting. Society is getting service. That is the greatness of Purta Karma. So this Ishta and Purta, we must observe in our daily life. We must. There is no way to escape. If we are not doing there is no meaning in calling ourselves as a, a, a human beings because we are part and parcel of the society. We are taking many things from the society. So it is our uh, basic duty to give back. Just think, if I, I am saying I have completed 10th standard school studies, 
What does it mean? I am simply meaning I have completed 10 years of studies in school. But for that, what much the society suffered just to calculate the share of uh, salaries and pensions given to teachers, the cost of establishment, the cost of maintenance, the cost of running the whole system of education, and divide that by the number of uh, students, then we will get lakhs and lakhs of rupees. This public spent for me when I completed 10th standard. Don't speak about higher studies. It will cost much more. Who is paying? The society is paying. The society is spending. So I am in a, uh, uh, what I'm calling in higher positions now in the society. I am working as this, I am working as that. I am well settled. And who paid for? The society paid for that. So it is my basic duty to accept this responsibility. So I say, uh, as a token of that, that recognition, as a token of the basic humanness, I have to serve. I have to work for the society. So, purta karmas, they are most important. So, ishta karmas and purta karmas are there. So, we have to observe, we have to do that. There is no way to escape. But at the same time, doing this ishta karma and purta karma are not the highest things in the world. Of course, we have to do, but we have to transcend, we have to get above that. We have to get above that. Because doing is not all. Our greatness, our speciality lies in the intellectual capacity to realize the highest. Brahma Valoka Dishana. That is the greatness of human birth. So work, we have to, we must. But at the same time, there are much more areas, much higher areas. So those who are considering Ishta and Purta as the highest, Shruti is calling them fools. Pramutha. They are Pramuthas. Muthas are fools. How to translate Pramutha, I don't know. Huh? If anybody of in this uh, satsanga knows, you can please help me. How to translate this Pramutha? Because Muthha is fool. Then we have to add some qualifying words. Pramutha. Hmm? There are no fools above them. Pramotaha. Those who are considering these activities like uh, performing yagas and homas and doing charity activities, social service activities, helping him, helping her, that is the highest or greatest thing. One who is considering that, he is the greatest fool. Never misunderstand. Because in the basic level, we have to do, we must do. Otherwise, we will not become human beings. If we are not shouldering the responsibility as human beings, we are not human beings. We have to shoulder that. There is no doubt in that. But it is not the highest. 
path must not be conceived as the goal. Both are different. So those who are considering ishtapurtam vanyamanaha varishtam vanyamanaha those who are considering varishtam the highest the highest they are pramuthaha and na anya shrayaha vedayande na anya shrayaha there is no higher and nobler than this there is no higher or divine or nobler than this. They are not doing anything other than these activities. Always doing, doing, doing. That is their life. I am doing this. I am doing this puja. I am doing this yaga. I am doing this activities, that social activity. I am serving. So, so always entangled or uh, caught by the net of karma. Always caught by the net of karma, they are not knowing anything else. Na anya shraya hawe dayante. Pramothaha. So they are misunderstanding the path as the goal. So what is their fate? What will happen to them? Because always karma do have fruits. Nobody can negate that. Whatever be the karma, the result will come. We cannot stop that. If karma is there, result will be there. It will come. So what is the result? What if I eat for them? So it is said, Nākasya prishthe te sukrute anubhutuva. Nākasya prishthe. The word meaning uh, of uh, prishtam is the back. Prishtam is the back side. But here we can take it as to mean the periphery. So, Nākasya Prishthe, Nākam is a Swarga. Nākam is Swarga. Celestial worlds or heavens. Nākam. We, we, we had seen that derivation of uh, that Shabda in our last city. Because Kam means happiness. Negating that happiness will make akam. Akam means sorrow. And again negate that sorrow. Then it is na plus akam. Na akam. It is heaven. It is the world or sphere of all happiness. Enjoyments. So these people with the help of karma, they will reach heaven. And as it is said here, nākasya prishthe, we can presume there are many layers or many rooms in that world. I don't know. There may be. <laughs> How many rooms are there? In the heaven. Who knows? Now for getting heaven. They are making the world a hell. Now it is happening in our neighbor country. And slowly and slowly the same is creeping in. For what? For getting heaven.
there is a very good medical ex doctor he is very much service minded he was in the government service earlier now retired so i don't know whether he is practicing now he was practicing in malappuram district a very senior doctor so once uh, a mother had some pain in her stomach so with that stomach pain she approached one doctor there and he gave some medicines and asked her to take for one or two weeks but it didn't subside so she went to another doctor another doctor and finally she reached the calicut medical college and after undergoing many months of treatment it was of no use the only use was she consumed much tablets many many medicines and finally she came to this doctor his name is dr rajendra he came she came to this doctor and he gave some simple medicines costing only some 1 or 2 rupees those days and this doctor used to give medicines freely and his fees is 2 rupees it was 2 rupees 2 rupees he says i am getting salary from government so my private practice is just for service so he he gave this 2 rupees to many charity activities that was his custom let it go now with this medicine this mother was cured she was all right so she felt that much happiness so what she will do back to that doctor because he will not accept any money if she gives some money he will shout huh? physically he will throw her out that is his nature so this mother came with bananas many many vegetables bag full of vegetables and she went to the doctor now i am all right doctor you don't have pain no i don't have pain so it is very happy thing you go back these vegetables are for you then the doc doctor said yes you can keep there then this mother was crying tears were were flowing then this doctor asked why why you are crying you are all right now a doctor i am loving you too much then this doctor said that is good loving somebody else is a good thing then why you are crying then she said after my death i will reach heaven because i am a muslim and i will reach heaven there is no doubt in that but you being a hindu you cannot you are a kafir so you cannot reach heaven this makes me cry because i am loving you too much i am respecting you too much so when i sit in that heaven and enjoying heavenly things you will be in the hell that is what make me cry then this doctor he replied no mother don't cry there are two rooms in the heaven i know that they was there and i know that there are two rooms in one room you will be there and the other room i will be there so whenever you get some stomach pain or fever you can come to the other room and i will treat you he said so yes uh, i will not tell lies this was the reply of that doctor so she went back happily this is not a story this happened this happened in nelambur nalapuram district so this doctor narrated this to me and asked me a question swami can you tell me if you can reply i will give you 10 rupees then i 
asked him, yes, you can ask. Why I told that mother, if you get stomach pain or fever, you can come to the next room. Why did I say so? Then I replied. It is because for them, heaven is a place of enjoyment, physical enjoyments. Too much, too many things to drink and eat. So naturally, they will get stomach pain. And he gave me 10 rupees. <laughs> he gave me 10 rupees. So nakasya prishthe. Prishtha means the periphery. It is the backside. So you will not be entered. You will not given entry into the inner corners of that heaven. It will be reserved for uh, somebody else. For whom it is the question. A reply is for uh, those who perform 100 Ashwamedha and uh, virtues like that, they can go everywhere in the heaven. They will get passed to go everywhere. But common people, those who are performing these uh, and considering karma as the highest and knowing nothing else, that is the main thing. If you are doing karma knowingly, it is best. But without that knowledge, you are considering karma as the only thing, then that types of promoters, they will reach the periphery of the heaven. They will not be uh, entertained inside. So in the back of the heaven, they will stay and sukrate anubhutva, they will enjoy there. What they are enjoying? the result of their own activities. What we are getting in this world and what we will get in the world above, if such worlds are there, what is that? That is the result of our own karma. We won't get anything else. Nobody can give any premium, no. The effects of our own karma, we are reaping. So, sukrate uh, anubhutva, the result of their own karmas, virtuous deeds, then what will happen? That karma will get depleted. Because day by day we are using the balance. Uh, we are not adding. There is no way to get credits. Only debits are there. So we are withdrawing, withdrawing, withdrawing. Along with that withdrawal, we have to add. Then the account will stand. But now in the heaven, what is happening? There is no way to work any more. There is no way to gain anything. What we are gaining or getting there is the result of our own karma. And with that, day by day, that, uh, that uh, stock of our karma, balance of our karma, will get depleted. And if it is zero balance, it is good. We will get human birth again. But if in the course of stay there, if the balance is negative, then what will happen? We will not get human birth. Because punyena punyam, papena papam, upabhyam eva manushya lokam. That is the rule. With virtues, we will get higher life, birth. Papena papam. With papa, we will get lower birth. And upabhyam, when the balance is there, the balance of punya and papa are there, we will get human birth. So says Shruti. So if the balance is negative, we will not get human birth again. 
So it is said, Imam Lokam, this birth, this world, this human world, Kinataram va lower than this. Va or. So uh, Anubhutu, after enjoying Sukrute, the effects of their own activities, they will reach back this world or Hinataram. Still lower, still lower births than human birth. Yoni mani prapadyante sharira tuaya dehina. Thanu mani no samyanti yatha karma yatha shrutam. This is said in the in the Kathopanishad. So some jivas, they are approaching Yoni's place of birth, organ of birth. So they will, they will get the birth of human beings. And some others, sthanum anusanyanti, they are getting the birth of trees and the plants. So who is deciding this? Any God in the heaven? No. Ishwara? No. Then who is deciding? The karma. How we are living in this world. What we are doing. Accordingly, we are getting even our births. So we are the makers of our own future. So here, Imam Lokam, this human birth, or Hinataramba, still lower than this Vishanti. Vishanti means entering. They are entering. So that means those who are considering karma as the highest and not knowing anything else, only uh, Immersed in karma. Immersed in karma. And considering this is the highest, they, by virtue of their karma, they will get heavens. And in such worlds, they will enjoy. They will get much enjoyments. And after getting that, that karma depleted, when the balance is zero, they will have to come back into this world of human beings or still our worlds. See, if we are coming back to human world, even if we are getting human birth, We will not have happiness in this birth. Why? See, I am staying in a small hut, daily working and getting some wages. And with that wages, I am, uh, I am living. And of course, I am in physical poverty. But still, I am having happiness. So one day, one man came. Oh, Swami, you are staying in this hut? Yes. You are working hard? Yes. Still, you are in poverty? Yes. So, do one thing, come with me, and uh, I will give you seven-star living facilities. You come with me. 
Then I was enchanted. It's great. Then I went with him, leaving my her, hut, everything, family, everything. Then while we were walking, I asked him, so you are giving me seven star facilities? Yes, there is no doubt. How many days? For three months, 90 days. So I felt much happiness. And I went there. I got all seven star facilities. Luxury, luxury, luxury. I was enjoying. But now it is the 45th day. Then I thought, now half period has gone. Now only 44 days, 43 days, 42 days, 41 days. Now countdown. And there is happiness, there is enjoyment, but at the same time there is sorrow, there is anguish. What will happen? What will happen? And the last 10 days, in the midst of seven star luxuries, I was spending a life of what you can call full of sorrow. What to do? Nobody to help. And I had zero balance with me. And on the 90th day, they threw me out. They asked me to get out. I didn't. So they, they threw me out. Now, I came back to my old hut. There is no other way. There is no other place. And what will be the mental state? I was happy there earlier, even in the midst of poverty, even in the midst of physical troubles, I was happy earlier. But what will be the state of mind now? Because in the, in the middle period, I enjoyed much. Now I cannot enjoy my heart, my poverty as earlier. I cannot accept it. This is the state and fate of one who is coming back from heaven. Huh? And there is no scope for eternal heaven. Because heaven is the effect of karma and karma are temporary. Purely temporal. And so, with that karma, I cannot get eternal surga. This is simple logic. So, tell this to those who are coming to you, asking, come, come with us, come with us, you will get heaven. There are many, many recruiting agencies. They are bringing many books with them as uh, Swamiji Vivekananda Ji said, three B's and two K's. B's are Bible, Brandy and Bayonet and the K's are Quran and Knife. Now in the place of knife, there are AK-47 and 56. <laughs> Difference is that the thing is same, philosophy is same. So tell them, I don't want heaven. I am leading a heavenly life in this earth. So nakasya prishthe sukrute nubhutva Imam lokam hinataram vavishanti. That is the fate of those who are immersed in karmas. Then what about those who are doing upasanas and swadhyaya? That is the next mantra. Tapashraddheye hyupavasantyaranye 
शांता विद्वांसो भैक्षचर्यांचरंतूर्यद्वारेण ते विरजा प्रयान्ती यमृत स पुषो ह्यव्यत्मा Let us read once more. Tapa shraddhe ye yupa vasanti arne. Shanta vidvamso bhikshya chadyam charanta ha. Surya dware na te vidaja prayanti. Yatra amrta sa purusho hyavyatma. Let us break the words. Tapa shraddhe. Tapa shraddhe. That is one word. Ye. He. He. Upavasanti. Arenye. Shanta ha. विद्वांसूर्यद्वारेण ते विरजा प्रयांति यत्र अमृत सह पुष अव्ययात्मा ये दोष हुआ ये दोष हुआ ही वेरी और इंडीड Upavasanti are observing. Upavasanti are observing. It is the plural form. Where arenye in the forest. Arenyam is forest. Arenye in the forest. What they are observing? Tapasradhe. Tapasradhe means tapas and shraddha. Tapas and shraddha. Tapas is austerity. Tapas is uh, all sorts of activities we are performing or doing in this life to have knowledge, to purify our own intellect, to control our own senses. All these are tapas. We can see the explanation later. But now we can take it as to mean austerity or penance. So tapaha shraddha is faith. Faith, faith in the shastras and in the guru. That is shraddha. So tapas and shraddha faithfully. who are practicing tapas in the forest how they are living shanta shanta established in calmness Shantaha subsided all activities. Shantaha, vidwamsaha, knowers, scholars, vidwamsaha, bhikshya charyam charantaha, living on bhiksha, bhiksha charya. That is living on arms. Surya dwarena. 
T, T, D, D, T and D are similar. T, Surya Dwarena, through Surya. Surya Dwarena, through Surya. Virajaha. Virajaha. Virajaha means devoid of rajas. Devoid of rajas. Rajas is impurities. Or it can mean rajoguna also. So in both ways we can take. Without any impurity, virajaha. Or without rajoguna. Virajaha. Prayanti are going. Prayanti are going. Yatra, where Saha Amrutaha Purushaha. Saha means he. He Amrutaha, immortal. Purushaha. Purushaha. So where that immortal being is there, to that place they are going. Who is that immortal being? Avyayatma, one without decay. One without decay. That immortal being, that is the world of Brahma, Brahma Loka. So they are reaching Brahma Loka through Surya. In one earlier mantra we had seen that we have seen. So the uh, offerings will take him to the world of Surya and from there to Brahma Loka. And they will live a happy life there, enjoy the, the Brahma Loka. So that is the, that is the fate or the path of those who are Doing karmas along with austerities and those who have that knowledge within and uh, who are shantaha by nature, vidwamsaha by their practice and studies, and bhiksha charyam charantaha, bhiksha charyam, bhiksha charyam charantaha by their lifestyle. So they will reach Brahma Loka. That is the 11th mantra and we will explain that in our next satsanga. I think today we can conclude now. Next week we can continue. Namaste. Om Bhadram Karne Bhishranuyama Deva Bhadram Pashe Makshabhirya Jatra Stirai Rangai Stustovam Sastano Bhir Vyase Madeva Hitam Yadayuhu Sustena Yindro Vritasrava Sustena Pusha Vishwaveda Sustena Starchio Arishta Neme Sustena Brehaspatir Dadhatu Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Hi. Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha.